Okay, let us remove this image first. Let us buy a Type R. That's not close to the Type R. That's not Type R country either. We're going to be doing the Type R Championship. And I feel like a Civic might do. And I want it in Vogue Silver Metallic. I mean, let's face it. It looks best in Vogue Silver Metallic. And we're going to give it a bit of a tune-up. So what we're going to do... Pass about Nara is driving for the Dragon Speed Team in Daytona. Oh, God. What's the Dragon Speed Team again? Aren't they Corvettes? They're either Corvettes or the four GTs. Dragon Speed Daytona. Here we go. They are... Oh, good. They're... They're LMP... Oh, they're Mazdas. They're LMP2s. Anyway... Lighten car. Must lighten. Lighten it a little bit. We're also going to give it a fair bit more whack. No. I think it's dragon speed. Hmm. Give it a racing chip because they're cheap. And then we're going to give it... actually sure can they put turbos on him no oh oh yes you can well the max with turbo you can have is a free stage what we're gonna do we're not gonna actually put too much power in it because we want the front wheels to you know survive give it some slightly better suspension And it's off to the races. Because of 24 hours, you need consistency, which is definitely one word to describe Pastor as. Yeah. Consistency in other means. Okay, so let's have a look at our races. So we've got Route 246, Grand Valley. We've got Trial Mountain in reverse, Super Speedway, and Route 246 in reverse. Right. Let's get racing. Let us get racing. Mmm. He's consistently crashing. Yeah. As usual, we're going to turn off everything. There we are. All right. Let's see how the Silver Shadow does its job. Let us go. We can may have slight, put slightly too much power in it. Oh! Yeah, when Tag almost took me out. Chavy Civic. How you doing, Heel? Good to see you on here. But while some mess around and try to put superchargers on this thing, I put a turbo on it. Can we get some... Camoa, Camoas in chat. Camoas. Turning right. Get out of my way. Aha, you had to break. Now, thanks to my superior suspension, I can handle better. Turn left. Oh, yes. Do it fine, just drunk and high as usual. I'm probably going to be, gonna be a bit drunk later and watching the, um, the AFC Takeover later tonight. Thank you very much for the host, Top Nip. This is a surprise. More Grand Swiss Mode 3. Hey, I'm doing it all, man. This is it, the official doing. How you doing, fellas? Good to see you on here. That. That's a wall. Turning and left. Oh. I know of a good joke. Lance Stroll. 
<laughs> Just remember that was on. Yeah, I'm watching that tonight. It's going to be taken by usual Doritos and strawberry cider. Mmm, strawberry cider. I am currently three seconds ahead. Yep, 3.3 seconds. Mmm, strawberry cider. I only just knew the four minutes. Oh, yeah, new, new season. Of That's right. Oh, God. Race booth. How you doing, fella? Good to see you on it. Welcome to um, overpowered Honda Civic Type R simulator with turbo. And upgraded suspension and lighter because lighter. Three races in. Oh, that's right. The season ends in July. I think. Not that familiar. I might stay up late and continue playing the Re Oh, God. The Resident Evil 2 remake is so good. Capcom actually listened to the fans and they remade it. Oh, yeah. HRD. Ah. I see you are the heel racing driver. <laughs> also, Dan Tictum can't get super license in racing series that he's in, which is good because that prick never deserves to be in F1. Yeah, I know who you are now, race booth. Heel racing driver, race booth, heel racing driver, whatever. I was so excited for it that I went full umbrella cosplay with a buddy of mine for midnight release. You went. You went cosplaying as um, as Umbrella Call. What the fuck? Turning right. Uh, understeer. I was gonna say. I was gonna say you could dress up as. I don't know Leon and Leon and fucking. I was gonna say Jill, but it was, but it's not Jill. Once he overtook 10 cars behind the safety car to crash into some, just crash into his team. Great job, mate. Great job. Anyway, we win. Wow, but the uh, other type R is the slowest. That's a surprise. I would have thought this would be faster than the Accord because the Accord weighs a thousand million tons. Look at the pretty Civics. Well, a Civic. Next race. Grand Valley. Also, he said he was losing F3 because his last name isn't Schumacher. <clears throat> a Claire cosplay that my friend I know. With Albert Wesker's current English voice actor, DC Douglas. Well then. Took a peek at this week's car, pa car pass cars. Mm. Interesting. How you doing, Talis? You see, I don't have the car pass. But I will be getting the, um... The, uh, DLC, like, season pass. Possibly next month. Do good. Happy to see the XRG. Yep, the, NX the NSXR GT is back. Speaking of, I need to watch, I'm going to be watching some of that 24 hours of Daytona in the early, in the early hours of the morning when I get back up. After almost 10 years of absence. Years. I mean, I, only, I just saw a bit of the IMSA race, a bit of the um, IMSA Daytona. And I think it was like within two minutes of me watching it, two Corvettes crashed into each other in the pit lane. <laughs> All you need is a spoiler, and the Rayburg NSX could be remade. Ray Brig, you suck. Remember that guy in Hust Development Program who got kicked out of his F2 team? Well, then. I didn't know that. But apparently, I do now.
Oh, and a big Mercedes to rival the blower Bentley. Nice. With that yank driver. I'm not sure. I'm not actually too sure. To be fair, I don't follow F2. Although I wish I did, but the problem is I need to subscribe to Formula 1 Sky Sports F1. And I don't want to spend £30 a month on Sky Sports. I think this race is going a little bit too well. Didn't Mansell run in a NASCAR race one? Yes, he did. He also won. No. But that was IndyCar. He did go in NASCAR, and then he quit. Because, you know, it's nothing like the IndyCars. Except they almost are. But aerodynamics matter more. And there's no flaps to save your life. Yeah, they ain't too far behind. Yeah, I don't think it was much of a contact sport person. I don't don't really like Crofty's commentary. Oh god, I just cut the track. They say you cut the course. You gotta slow down to make up for the time gained. He used his phone in the car, crashed into his teammate, and this isn't confirmed. He and his dad verbally assaulted his teammate. For what? <laughs> they say you cut the course. This is like a big 1x. You have been disqualified for dangerous driving. They say you cut the tiki course. You get to slew dude and give him the time gift. Too wazzy for me. Dog's going mental. Biggest race. It never got officially confirmed. Ah. No, that sounded like the Swedish chef being my spotter. God, the Swedish chef. But he did break down on the team radio. What, he cried or did he go mental? Oh, he crashed into me. It wasn't my fault. I win. Hit me. Oh, it was a small graze. I said, hit me. Thank you. <laughs> Why is the new F2 use? People use... How many use, like... They use... What was it? 2D of V6s? Must investigate after this. Anyway, that's another win. Another five grand for me. Man, look at that heat haze. Basically, bigger, less powerful versions of the F1. So it's, I think it's like a 3 litre V6 developing 450 horsepower. There's another hybrid unit produce 850 horsepower. He used his age as an excuse. What was the ex What did he really say? Because I'm older than you, that means I could crash into you.
Climb the hill, damn it! Still the main supply of F3 units to the subjects. I'm not actually sure. It's either Honda or... No, Delara make the chassis. I'm not actually sure if it's Honda. I know Mercedes jumped into F3 in recent years. Yeah, it did. For their developers program. He was 19, Charles Leclerc is around 19 and 20. And he's way more mature than he was. I mean, hell, when Charles Leclerc had his first crash at F1, he was very mature about it. Yeah, I'm way too far ahead. This is not competitive. This is destruction. Because I know there are AMG power units running in F3 now. He's all much worse. So he's much worse than normal. Oh, that's just excellent. Tell you what, great racing driver he makes. Making racing driver excuses. That's the case, Talis, that Mercedes are now powering the um, F3 cars, then it's probably just going to be Mercedes. America. I can make excuses because I'm from America. I am way too far ahead for this. Too much Jake Paul and Fort Shy, probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. And flick it in. I'm not too sure, Talis. Charles has been through much worse things than that F3 driver. Oh, God. Has ever been. Yet yeah, he's still mature about everything. Yeah. I do well with NASCAR, probably. <laughs> yeah, he crashed into me because I. We, Formula Nippon. Yeah, Formula Nippon's had it. I'm not sure if the Japanese do even have open wheel events anymore. Yeah, this was an absolute destruction of a race. It was like 15 seconds ahead. Who knows? Let's have, let's take a watch. Thirteen seconds, so I wasn't too far off. The touring cars, well, the Super GTs, yeah, they've had a big love affair with them, always. Why in the world does it get even further away? Look at the pretty face. I wish more racing games, even then. Racer games never really had like um never really had heat haze. Formula Nippon has become super formula on Dolara SF thirty chassis. Well then. Out of T now. Charles has had his best friend Jules Bianchi as his father unfortunately died, yet he can still be mature about everything. That is very true. That is very true. I wish Super GT could race at Tokyo Route 246 in real life. If only. If only. Turbo inline fours. 
Oh, of course it will never happen because Japan's banned road racing. Either that or the um, Super GT regulations don't allow it. They're bastards. That would call... Yeah. I think Route 246 is one of their main roads. And the Japanese love to work ultra long hours on something like two hours of sleep. So I don't think I don't think many people would be very pleased. Don't leave left again. If I ever see a race there, I don't know how I would feel. I would feel amazed. I want to see Super GT's race at Okayama though. That track is tight, very tight. I've had the displeasure of, of having, of feeling that tight circuit on iRacing. It's one of their free tracks. Last year's Super Formula champ was Naoki Yamamo Yamamoto with Team Mugen. Of course, it would be Mugen. Yeah, he was. He was supposed. He was supposed to be in Sauber first, and then Ferrari. Okiyama used to be an F1, well, only twice. Maybe like the 1960s, but that's it. Okiyama is extremely tight. It's not wide enough for today's F1 cars. Plus, the um, the track's got serious, has got changing, has got constantly changing elevations, so I don't think it would fit the FIA's FIA's regulations very well. Yamamoto also won last year's Super GT. Well then. Schumacher won his second championship there. Which championship? It couldn't have been F1 because F1... Even... 1995. What, Okuyama? They, were, they didn't use, even throughout the Beam 70s, they were using Suzuka. They could have raced on Okayama in 95. Also, I made a list of the best drivers to win the Drivers' Championship. Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Pacific GP it was. Must investigate. Right, last race, two laps long. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Last uh, superior car coming through. Oh god, I broke way too late. Whoa! Oh, yes. Oh, Sterling Moss, Mark Webber, Daniel Coulthard, Juan, Juan Pablo Montoya, Max Verstappen, and Jean Lacy. Super GT TVs on Team Kudumitsu. One of the things that happens. Hmm, tornado things. Bonks. Yeah, but still, 
Thanks to how wide the cars are and how dependent they are on aerodynamics now, Okuyama would not fit the AI FIA's calendar very well. Don Paul Montoya, yes. Very faintly, actually. Like, like I said, the FIA won't appreciate it with the new cars because of the elevation changes. They would have said they would have appreciated it, appreciated it in say like 2004. Yeah, it's only an eye racing now. Yeah, I mean I ra I raced F3s on Okayama and I on eye racing. It is tough. It is tight and it's tough because no setup, no setup can properly do it justice. It'll probably it'll, yeah, have a track probably is modded somewhere outside of iRacing. Maybe like a set of Corsa or R Factor. Remember when people thought McLaren lineup of Kimi and Montoya would be like seven cross in terms of success? Yeah, it was an absolute failure. Sarah and Prost in terms of success, if even even that team wouldn't be in terms of success. They always fought against each other. They would completely ignore team strategy and just race against each other. With at one point Prost protesting Senna for for what happened at Suzuka. I can't remember which year, but he blocked. He blocked Senna, and Senna had to take the the back road. And the FIA, he protested it. The FIA said that was a stupid, that was a stupid and dangerous move to do. It was his only choice, and was penalised for it. Montoya Rays quit, and can be fucked off the Ferrari. Yeah. Oh no, it's late in the game. I was a stupid kid back then, so I wouldn't remember that too much. Oh, I remember. I I wasn't born in like 1980 something. I actually watched the um, the Senna documentary, and that was noted. Absolutely, lo absolutely love that documentary. Love it. I love I love like lots of motorsport films and documentaries and whatnot. Also, I win with about 22 seconds ahead. I do have that set of movie. Is it just be all the people forget Alan Prost is a full time? No, I don't think people forget. Are you watching it with that with your brother and, and your dad? How do you feel when you saw the big crash? Oh, look at that. I was right. 22 seconds ahead. That crash happened a day after I was born. Also, in the early days of JGTC, many, many of the cars were eligible to run at Le Mans, weren't, too, weren't they? Some of which were. Just a day comes right at the end of the race. Why? I watched it way before seeing the movie. Didn't feel much. I got my dad to watch it again, and he still he still says he's devastated by it. Anyway, we win. Now for and prize car. It's an Accord. Oh, I get. It's an Acura RSX. Excellent. I kind of feel bad. The RSX, for example, only a slight modification to be brought to GT2 regulations. Yes, actually, but remember, GT2 is now dead, GT1 is now dead, and NMP1 and 2 are soon to be dead. Let's have a look at our Acura RSX, otherwise known as the DC... 
C? No, not DC. DD. DG. The DG. DC5. Also, I'm getting this really, really wrong, aren't I?